Hi, I just made a video about Compton and everything is now transparent in this uh, LX Qt made from Alcalix B ISO. Um, and I wanted to play around with the settings a little bit. So pycam.com, right? Pycam is the application. Make sure you have that installed. sudo pacman minus s pycam. Alex Cute is here. Pycam.conf is here. And what do we see? We see here three things, major things. Shadows. Change the shadows. Or opacity. Change the opacity. Or fading. So slower closing down, milliseconds, default is 10, four, fast down. So you can change these things and let's exaggerate with these things so you see what's gonna happen. Now, I first need to kill. I'm gonna see if I can kill this because this is now working, PyCam is working, right? So kill all, let's see if I can kill it, PyCam. Okay, so that's cool. This is my way to kill it. And I need another way to activate it again, right? Now activating it, I'm gonna use whatever is inside in the config. That's the easiest way. There is every boot up, you auto start this particular line. And what's that line? This is the line you boot up, execute, control C. Okay, so I have two things. I can start and I can stop Compton, right? With this one, I'm gonna make it transparent. With that one, I can kill it. And now we're gonna play with some changes. So this one says fading, fade delta four, default is 10, what if I take 40? Will that show, okay? So kill all pycam, again, no process found. And then we do this one and um, we should take something else, another screen. So this guy, and then we're going to do this. Okay, it's not really showing that it's fading at all. So not. this is a little bit slower, I think. Let's try that without Pycam. So again, Ctrl T. No, doesn't really show. The time between the steps, opacity change, 40. Let's try something obvious. Let's go for the shadow. So I'm scrolling over to the shadow. Shadow is true. Shadow radius is five. All right, so let's go for 50, right? Okay, let's kill it. It's already killed. Let's run it. Oh yeah, and that's obvious. That has a very strange um, look to it. It has a shadow really till one centimeter or maybe, maybe even one and a half centimeter. So that's really uh, a strange look. But hey, if you like it, you like it, right? Shadow, shadow or radius mm, 20. Let's try that one. Killing it and activating it. Well, that's better. So we've changed the setting here, shadow, shadow radius 20, and you can set it to what corner you set it, minus five, minus 15. Uh, yeah, we should try that, default 15. What is that default 15? Okay, kill, start. Mm -hmm. Okay, also good, right? It's all personal preference. What else? So the opacity, things when you click here, this is opaque, right? You can see through it. You can, if, you, if you wanna have more opacity, um, you can say so. But at this point in time, it says to none. One, active opacity, frame opacity. It's gonna be this one. Yeah, through frame opacity. We can do 0 0.8, I think it's a pointing. Let's see if I'm right. Been a while since I played with this stuff. Not that it's important, right? It's not that important. This is now the bar up here. That's the frame opacity. And active opacity, oh yeah, true. I know what this is. Save, okay. And then 
kill it, activate it, and do it like this. The difference between one and the other, right? So if this one is active, then the other one is darker. So the inactive opacity is actually more. So it should be the other way around. Something is not active. I'm going to exaggerate 0 0.5. And this is how I test things out, right? So it's just more of a, hey, have a look. Maybe you like this. And then this becomes more uh, predominant in the foreground. And the rest is just a little bit gone, like a ghost. But it's still there. But I have two screens. And my other screen, my sublime text, is also transparent. So that's not what I really like. But hey, it's entirely up to you to decide what you want. Let me show if I can. You see, that's what I mean. Tja, choices, right? You like it, you hate it. It's entirely up to you, but I just give you the knowledge that this is possible. And the fading, ah, I know why the fading is not working. False, okay, true, safe. And then go back, kill everything, kill Pykem, and then go back up like this one. And then I can use this one. Ah, now you see clearly why I really don't, well, it's, We've, we've used uh, fading in Arch Labs back three years ago and we've used it since then also sometimes but basically we're losing time over it. So in, in a workflow thing when you are rushing through things you don't want to see all this fading thing. But you can of course have it and um, maybe put the delta a little bit lower because now we have also 40, so four times the one default. So killing it and activating it. And there you go. A little bit better. And um, that's it for me, guys. So just playing around, you can do too. You see how it goes. <laughs> Everything is now transparent everywhere. Um, it's um, with this look, I almost can't find my uh, left terminal here and my sublime text is all transparent as well. Anyway, just for fun, play with it. Did you break it? Okay, no problem. Scale, right? Scale is gonna put back the correct pycom.conf, always. Kill pycom, launching again, or reboot again. Um, we should be able to get it back right now, and it's not, it's not. Um, why should I kill it again? Because my system says on the other side that it's okay. Fading is false, it says. Fade delta is four, it says. Opacity is one. So I'm going scrolling through the file in the config lxqt pycon.conf and everything is set back. Shadow is true. Everything seems to be in order. Yeah, fading is false. So this should do, do the trick. This should be working and it's not. I'm gonna kill Pykem again. And, uh, oh. Okay, it is working, Eric. It is working, everything is okay. This is normal. <laughs> All right. So that's me, I'm out, I'm having fun with Pycom, so can you. All right, cheers.